Similar to slide styles, transitions can also be made by starting in a show or by starting with a new project. For this tutorial, we'll start a new project, then choose Effects, then Transition. In the Transition Build window, you'll see that you're already given Source Slide and Destination Slide layers. In simple terms, a transition is how you're going to change from your Source Slide, the orange A, into the Destination Slide, the green B. You'll always want your Source Slide to begin full screen, centered, and at 100% zoom. And you'll want the Destination Slide to end in the exact same way, as the first and last frames of every transition represent your slides as a single unit, not the layers inside them. Everything that happens in the middle of your transition is up to you. You have access to all of the same animation tools that you do for animating any other layer, including slices, groups, shapes, and all of the standard attributes that can be keyframed. Once you have your transition built, click on the transition settings in the upper left corner. Here you can rename your transition if you want to, edit the information associated with your transition, assign it to either existing transition categories or create a new category, and change the thumbnail if you'd like. The thumbnail is automatically set as the very middle frame of your slide. If you want to choose a different one, simply move the timeline marker to the point that you want your thumbnail to be set, then right-click in the preview window and choose Set Frame as Show Thumbnail. You can export your transition if you'd like, but if you're the only one who'll be using it, this isn't necessary. Director will automatically include any transition project that you have saved in the transitions list when you're working on a show.